this time of year there's quite a variety of different wildlife that we might see in the pond and this includes things such as the water boatmen and pond skaters and also things like ram's horn snails, dragonfly nymph, caddisfly larvae, so a real range of different uh, little aquatic invertebrates. You don't have to be a specialist to find these sorts of things. Anyone can get stuck in and it's literally just a case of having a dip and uh, seeing what you can find and it's surprising the amount of things that are actually in the water. And when you're pond dipping, just be very gentle. Don't stir up the uh, silt too much and be respectful to the insects. These are living creatures. So when you're handling them with them, handle them with care and also don't keep them out of the water for too long. Have a good look and then return them back to the pond that they came from. Once you put the net in, you have a little stir around. Rather than just going straight in and straight out, that enables you to cover a larger area and hopefully get more things in your net. So we've got a few great things here. Over in the corner, we've got a water boatman here, and you can see he's swimming fairly fast um, and upside down to the surface. That's how he swims there. Over there, we've got what looks like a dragonfly nymph, possibly a hawker dragonfly. It's keeping a lot more still. Next to that, there's the, uh, the shell of a, uh, a ram's horn snail, just the shell. And swimming around quite fast, there's um, some small water beetles. They're about half a centimetre long and they're, they're very fast swimming. Well, we've noticed the last couple of years we've had very dry summers, so the water levels here have been much lower than we typically want them to be. So much space that has been occupied by wildlife has been lost in the fens, with less than 1% of what used to be here. Well, we're thinking very long term here at Wick and Fen. We've got a 100 year vision to really increase the size of the reserve, acquiring more farmland adjacent to the site, which is valuable for insects and also for uh, rare plants and flowers that can grow there too. Thank you.